Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a spooky bat brush in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm in Illustrator now, and I'm going to create a new document. So I'll come over here to Create New. I'll come up here to Print, and then I'll choose Letter, and we'll create. All right, so first we need to draw the bat. So I'm going to use the pen tool to do this. So I'll hit P on my keyboard, which will bring me to the pen tool. And I'm going to click once and then come out here and just click and drag to about right there. Then I'm going to click on the last point that I made. And now all I need to do is make a few little points like this. And this is the wing. So now I'm going to complete the shape. I'll hit Z on my keyboard to zoom in. And then I'm going to get on the anchor point tool by hitting Shift C. That'll bring us right over here. And this is actually underneath the pen tool. Now between every two points, there's a line. And you'll need to just click right on that line and bring it in a little bit. And we'll do that for all of these. Okay, and now you can see we've got our bat wing. Okay, so let's copy this. I'm going to Command C and then Command F to paste in front. That's Control C and Control F. And now I'm going to hit O on my keyboard to get to my reflect tool. And that is this one right over here. And I'll option click at the bottom here. This will bring up the reflect dialog box and we'll choose vertical and say, okay. All right, so now all we really need to do is add a little head and some ears. So I'm going to hit P on my keyboard and I'll click right inside here. I'll hold shift and then I'll click here and here to kind of get the bat head. I'm gonna come all the way down here to the bottom and click the very bottom point and then complete the shape. And I'll get on my V tool and just grab that middle handle and pull it down a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to reflect this over here. So I'll copy and paste in front again. I'll hit O to get to my reflect tool and then I'll option or alt click right on this middle point. And that'll bring us to the reflect dialog box. I'll choose vertical and say, okay. And now we have all the pieces of our bat. Now these don't seem to be lining up very well down here. So let's hit command Y or control Y on a PC. And then I'm going to zoom in really close down here and I can see that they're not lining up. So I'm going to hit a to get to my uh, direct selection tool. I'll select all of these points and then I'm going to hit option command J or alt control J on a PC. And that brings up average. Um, this will just put all the points together in one point. It doesn't really create one point out of them, but it puts them all in the same spot. So we'll choose both and say, okay. And so now they're all lining up. I'll command minus and zoom out. And this is looking how I want now. So I'm going to hit command Y or control Y again to get back to the normal uh, view of this. Now I'll hit V and select everything. And I'll come down here to the Pathfinder and go to the first shape mode, which is Unite. Now, if you're not seeing this panel or any of these panels, you can come up here to Window and find them all right in here. Okay, so now we have our bat. Now I'm going to switch these, so I'll use this little arrow right here. And I'll click on the white and just get rid of it. All right, this is exactly how I want our bat to look, but he really needs to be quite a bit smaller. So I'm going to get on the corner, on a corner handle, hold shift and just make him a lot smaller. And then I'll move him up here. Okay, now to make our brush, I want quite a few little copies of him. I think we'll do five copies total. So I'm going to hold alt or option click him and drag, and that will make a copy. I'll get on a corner, hold shift and pull it in a little bit to make it a little smaller. I'll get right outside that handle and then I can rotate it. So we'll put this one up here and then I'm going to make another couple of copies by holding alt and option. 
uh, resizing and rotating. Okay, so we've got five copies of the bat, and now we'll want to select all of them and let's group them. That's Command G or Control G on a PC. Now, if you click on one and move it, you'll move the whole thing. And to make the brush work the way that we want, we're going to want to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we want it to be like this. Now I'll open my brushes palette and I can just click and drag this whole thing into my brushes. And now it's going to ask us what type of brush we want to make. And that is a pattern brush. We'll say, okay. And now we can see an example of what it'll look like when we use our brush and this is fine. So we'll say, okay, all right, I'm going to zoom out with command minus or control minus. I'm going to get my in tool, which is the pencil tool and I'll just draw a wavy line like this. Now I'll come over to my brushes and choose that pattern brush we just made. And now we've got a really spooky bunch of bats following the line that we made. Now I noticed that this one here is a little close to the big bat. So what we can do is we can pull that pattern brush out and edit it. If we hit command Y or control Y, um, you can see a little better what's happening. So I'm going to delete this one on the left. That just shows what happens when you go around a corner. I recommend when you use this to just do something really subtle and not really turn a corner, uh, Otherwise you'll get some weird results. Okay. So let's get our group selection tool and I'm just going to select this whole one and delete it. And now you can see that there's a box around this. That box is showing how far away these pieces are. So if we make it a little further here or a little further here, there will be more space between this bat and this bat. All right, so this looks good. Let's hit command Y or control Y to get back. Now I'm going to select the whole thing, come back over here, hold option or alt, and just drag it right on top of our old pattern brush. And it'll give us the same options. We'll say, okay. And now it'll ask us if we want to apply the strokes and we do that'll apply this brush to that same stroke we just made a second ago. So I'll say apply to strokes and then we'll zoom out and you can see that that one is not that close anymore to uh, the big one. So this could be something that is pretty fun for making bookmarks or wooden signs, something like that, or just any Halloween project you're working on. And it's pretty quick and easy to do. All right. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.